Yo, yo, guys, what is up? And today I am doing a FNAF quiz. I am doing a FNAF quiz. Uh, what FNAF 4 animatronic am I? Alright, alright, let's start off with the simple question. Well, I'm just gonna. I don't, okay, let's start off with the simple. FNAF, favorite FNAF game? Um. Hmm. Three. Best quality. Um uh, if it's my best quality. Um Sneaky. Favorite YouTuber. Uh two count. Ooh. Uh Act, act, act. Too much swearing. Yeah. Your opinion on fan games? Eh, okay. If you saw someone robbing a bank, um, try to confront them peacefully. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, You know what? No, no, no! Oh, I don't even know what to click. Do you like Quotev? Uh, it's fine. No. Try anywhere in the world. Uh, I don't really know. I don't know. Do we really know? Um, if I know, send your family. I guess more friends. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with the obvious one here. All right, nightmare plus trap. Mm. Mm. So I was a nightmare plus trap. All right. Oh, it's like boy and girl stuff. Yeah. All right. So I might. So I'm nightmare plus trap. So that's only for the fourth game. Whenever I take a quiz for the first game, I'm always foxy. Um, who should I take a quiz on next? Um. There's one about the goldies. Um, the, the goldies. Oh, goldies. Spring trap. Let's just type in. Does spring trap and golden ready like you? Uh, what's your favorite FNAF song? This is. It's by another person. Um, uh, no. Uh, it was like, what do the golden animatronics think of you? If I can't find it, I might as well just do this. All right. What is your favorite FNAF song? You like children? Eh, they could be jerks. <laughs> Golden Freddy, who's your favorite animatronic out of us? 
Green track. Yep. Home well, Freddy, what was your favorite building? Oh, this is FNAF 1 building. Uh, oh, that's a difficult decision. I think the FNAF 3 was my turn, rusty yellow or rusty gold. My turn, rusty yellow or rusty gold. I like rusty yellow. If you could be an animatronic from these choices, rabbits, foxes. We think you're amazing. You're my best friend. You're amazing. You're the best friend ever. I ever. Uh, <laughs> it's raining tacos. So they like me. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Which five minutes of Freddy character are you? Now let's go, Bobby's question. Oh my blue. Alright, now I'll do which animal do you find the most interesting? Bear, wheel, chicken, eagle, rabbit, deer, wolf, wolf, like wolf. But you haven't approached anyone yet and seem a little scared. What do you do? I watch the kid for a while to see what they're like, then decide whether or not I want to approach them. I wait a little while to see if anyone else approaches them. I want to approach. There's a fork in the path. One leads right and another left. There are no discerning factors to help you choose the correct path. So let instinct decide. I'm going left. You're in a dark empty room with a person you don't know. Weird accent. I might use this for quizzes. If I should do more, please put it in the comments below. I haven't done a video in a while. You're in a dark empty room with a person you don't know. They seem to be watching you very closely and have yet to make any motion towards you. How do you react? I carefully watch them back. I'm not afraid of them. I try to act unimportant. Hoping maybe they'll go away. I immediately move towards them. Maybe they'll get scared and run off. I immediately begin to shiver and contemplate running. I don't like being watched. I really watch them. Alright then, here's a simpler one. Take the word that best describes your personality. Friendly. You would have any superpower, which one would you choose? If you weren't a band, which instrument would you like to play? I don't want to be on a band. There was someone you need to get to. You know right where they are, but you also know that they're aware you're coming and might try to stop you. How do you approach this situation? I'd wait a little while, let someone else approach them first, see how they react, once I think I understand them, then I'll begin to act. I wander a little, purposely stray off the path, maybe make them think I'm not even interested in them. Make no mistakes, I'm going straight for them. I don't need to get them first. I rush before they have time to react. Once I think I understand them, I rush before they even have time to react. To act. <laughs> I said two that. Um, we got done here, so hold on to yourself. You are invited to a party. You are invited to a party. And for whatever reason, you decide to go. Now, what are you doing at the party? Watching people from the background, waiting to see what kind of people are around. Learning insistently, doing whatever feels right. Arriving extremely early. Gotta be there first. Hiding in the corner, hoping nobody notices me. Leaving. Throw the party hat right in the ground. Nobody cares. Alright. Congratulations, children. You survived. Now let me pull some strings and see what we have. See, what did I tell you? I'm Foxy. 
Look at that. Foxy. Wow. I can... Well, I am Foxy. Hello, kitty. Oh, man. All right. Uh, I think I'll do one more quiz. Um... There's a game called Undertale. I wonder if there's which Ghostbuster Quiz. Game quiz. How do you feel about ghosts? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. I've seen some things that will turn you white. Well, I'll have you know, I have a degree in... I'll just say, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. There's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Um... I am strange something. What kind of sleeper are you? Uh, I sleep just fine. I've been known to toss and turn. I sleep above the covers. Four feet above the covers. I lie in slumber awaiting in the hour of my lord's return. I've been known to toss into it. <sighs> At what point do you start to think, hey, I bet it's ghosts, when a large quantity of undersea sponges migrate about a foot and a half? When my custom built ghost detecting gadgets alert me to an abundance of fizzle. So kinetic energy. When I actually see a ghost, my refrigerator door busts open and growls Zool. It's always a ghost. You encounter something seemingly supernatural. What's a good resource for more information? The internet, the library, Tobin Spirit Guide. Mrah! <laughs> what do you think happens when you die? Uh, I believe in a ritual heaven. Yeah. I don't know, but I think there's something more than this. Absolutely nothing. Uh, to get to annoy, you get to annoy rich people and eat hot dogs. Uh, you go someplace soft, white, and puffy. I'm gonna have to go with this one. No, I hate, I hate you advertisements. What's the best vocational advice you could offer the next generation? Find something you love and throw yourself into it. Uh, do something fun. Strive to tower above the competition. No matter what you're interested in, an MBA is always a good idea. Remember to keep a healthy work-life balance. How is the image you, protect, you project of yourself different from what's inside? It might not seem like it sometimes, but I really do care. I may seem nice, but really I'd like to destroy all humanity. Uh, what you see is what you get. Maybe I seem confident, but I worry what people think of me. No. Oh, I thought, I thought there was a thing. All right. Uh, how about you treat yourself with delicious junk food, buying myself that gadget I've been holding off on? By going out for beers with my friends, tearing up the city, by getting dressed up and doing something fancy and romantic. Going out for beers with my friends. Only when I'm older. Uh, someone's horsing around in your otherwise quiet office. What do you do? Give them the evil eye. Join in. I probably won't notice. I tend to zone out when I'm working. Ask them to cut it out. They must be destroyed. Party. This party is nuts. You want to stick around? Yeah, let's keep it going. I'd rather go someplace quieter. Who wants to do shots? Let's go crazy. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be a big fan of shots. Uh, keep the party going. Are you a god? 
No. You are Janine. Alright. Hardworking, efficient, and not easily impressed. You are a highly organized person who likes things done your way. You'll stick your neck out for friends and co-workers, but you know your loyalty has limits. I've quit better jobs than this. Famous quote from the movie. Alright. Nice. Someone put in the comment that they got Janine. Mm, Alright. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more. Put put something in the comment below if you want to see more of these quizzes. Um, you know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.